the time run. What we try and get pupils to be able to do is to run for one minute continuously per school year. In this case we have some year five pupils and some year six pupils. So the year fives are trying to run continuously for five minutes and the year sixes for six minutes. We really help the children with their pacing, pacing being how fast they run. We tell the pupils to use their knowledge of the four speeds from this four speeds game and from the pickup sprinting. Pupils must set off at speed two until roughly three quarters of the way through the challenge. Then we tell the children they can speed up to speed three and right at the very last minute if they've still got any energy left they're allowed to do a sprint finish. We definitely don't want them setting off at speed four we don't want them setting off at speed three. We want them to be able to sustain their running effort. So we want everybody starting jogging at speed two. You can move up to speed three now. So we're into the last quarter of the challenge. If pupils have the energy, they can speed up to speed three. If they don't have the energy, they can stay at speed two. Ten seconds left, if anybody's got a sprint finish. And walk. Everybody walk and breathe. In this case, a couple of children uh, were walking before the end. That was because they didn't pace themselves properly. They went to speed three too soon and couldn't sustain it. So the feedback and advice we'd give to those children is to stay at speed two for longer. Everyone keep walking and breathing to recover. Breathe in and out. As pupils progress, we can ask them to move up to speed three a little bit earlier on in the challenge. But we still don't want them setting off at speed three because they won't be able to sustain it.